Hello, everyone. Thank you for attending this call. I'm uh, Sami Sayed from Shortpoint. I'm going to introduce uh, to you today a um, feature in Shortpoint. We call it Shortpoint Generator. And also, we'll talk about uh, the design element in the page builder for templates. Uh, this is a little bit advanced topic, but and uh, it will open a lot of use cases in Shortpoint. And I hope it will be very helpful. So, first, Shortpoint Generator. Shortpoint Generator is a feature uh, in Shortpoint used to create reusable elements and templates and components. It's a very powerful feature, and we won't be able to uh, cover everything in one session. But in this demo, I'm going to show you the basics, and uh, you will be able to do a lot of stuff after this uh, demo. Also, I'm going to talk about the template design element in Shortpoint Page Builder, uh, which is also another way to show uh, dynamic items. When you use Shortpoint Connect to connect to external and other sources, templates is a place where to give you more flexibility on how to design and show your content. Let's jump into a demo. So I'm going to share my screen and show you here. A communication site. This is a, a SharePoint site and this is a page in SharePoint. Let me show you what I have done here. I designed uh, a header in this page called Welcome to Demo Page One. And this uh, header element or this header component has uh, an image in the background, it has another styling here. Let me click edit and show you what I have done. So here, this is short point uh, web part. If I go and click edit the web part, and I can see it has a section. If I go to the section settings, I see that the section has a standard layout, alignment left, the content should be on the bottom. Also, it has a custom height, which is 200 uh, pixels here. Um, it has also a background. So if I go to the background, I can see I use this image as a background. This is what this is the settings I have for the section. There is another setting on not on the row on the column itself. So if I go to the column settings, I can see the column is standard, and it has a background also, black background and a little bit of transparent. This one here with a little bit transparency. If I set it in black, it's give a little bit transparency. So as a result, and there is a content here in the middle, which is welcome to demo page number one. So if I go to the setting, and if I go and click preview, here, so this is my result. I use this to create uh, what I call it a page header, uh, header element. Now look here, I want to use the same header design in another demo page, in this page. I also want to use it in this page. And I have like additional maybe 100 pages in my environment. I'm a designer, so I designed this style. I want all the users who are building sites and pages, when they want to add uh, a header to the page, to do the same exact style. So I cannot tell everyone that you need to do it from scratch. I cannot tell anyone to go here to classic, for example, this classic page. My demo will be a combination between classic and modern at the same time. So I cannot tell the, you, every user go and click insert and then insert a section and add an image in the background and also inside go to the column, change the styles. It will take ages. And what if I want to change the style. I want to change the image here. So for the style, I want to replace this image with another image. So I have to go to every page where we have the same design and change it in every single location. So it's going to take, uh, it's going to take forever. So that's what the short point generator comes to help. So short point generator is uh, here. You go to the site content, and from site content, you go to short point dashboard.
And from the dashboard, you go to generator. So here is the generator. You can give, uh, you can create multiple elements here, many elements you can create. As you can see, it has an editor. So you can design the elements here. You can use short point page builder to design everything you want. You can also add a free text. You can even switch it to HTML to add your code as well. But for now, what I want to do, I want to add, you see this um, page uh, section or header we used here. What I want to do, I will take it from here. I will copy this section and I will go to generator and I will paste here. So as you can see, it's a section. And inside the sections, there is welcome to demo page. And the section has the settings. It has the background. It has everything. I will call this element page dash header uh, dash one, for example, the header template one. And as you, there is a type here, type element or footer. So select element. Footer is uh, these elements you will create here. They will appear in footer section in short point theme builder, which is another topic we will cover in another video. But for now, the type of it is element. So welcome to demo page one. And I click save. So here we go. We created an element called page header one. When I click a preview, that's the element. So look what I will do now. I will go to demo page. I will delete everything from here. Let me, I need to refresh the page and click edit. And I will go to edit short point. <clears throat> and when I click insert, and when I scroll down, I will find a new element here called page header it appears in the custom elements called page header. When I click on it, preview, that's my element. And I click insert. So it appears in a golden color. When I click save, this is my element. So now I can go to this page, to the second page, and I can also do the exactly the same thing. I can add, to the top of the page, I let me click edit. And then here I will add the space before, and here I will add, looks like I have forgot to click refresh again. So I go to this part here and I click edit. add space before and from here i click insert and then in the custom i can see page header it's the same header i click insert republish so you see we have the same design element in all locations so when if i want to edit the image now i don't go and edit it from uh, any page i go to the generator and i edit it from there now, there is something here um, I did not complete. We didn't complete the scenario because it's not useful here. Look, demo page two now, and it says, welcome to demo page one. So as you can see here, I need extra functionality. I want to create a reusable element or a template using short point generator, but I want to be able to change few things when I insert the element into pages. So that's also the second um, functionality in short point uh, uh, generator. I can make this content dynamic. So let me, let me show you a demo and it will make uh, more sense to you. So I go to the generator and I go to this area, click edit. Now what I wanna do, I want welcome to demo page one, this part here. I want to make it as a variable. I don't want to add the content here. I want to ask the user to fill the name of the page every time they insert this element. It's very simple. All I have to do, percentage, percentage, 
and then add any name I want. So I say page underscore title and then close it, percentage, percentage. So look, this is what I created. I defined uh, a variable here, percentage, percentage, then whatever name you want and make sure no spaces between, uh, between the, uh, the words and close it by percentage, percentage. Click save. So we save the changes. Now let's go back to our page and let's click edit. Look what we will find now. Let's click edit here. Now this is the design element, which is the header. Go to the edit. And now you can see users now when they add this design element, it will ask them for the page title. So now I can say this is demo page two. So it says now, welcome to demo page two. I can change it to welcome to intranet uh, IHR uh, site. Update. I can go now to also HR site. I can go to the first example. It's not now demo page one. Again, I need to refresh uh, the page. Yes, so click on edit. So I can see now, let me start even from scratch here. So I can click insert and then go to page header. It asks me for a title to uh, short point demo site. Insert. Now, if I want, I will. I can also do a classic. Show you in a classic environment, in a classic site. I can also go to click edit, and from here click insert. This is short point, custom elements page header, classic SharePoint, SharePoint site. Preview. That's the element. Save. Is also another element. Now, of course, if I want to change the image, I don't want uh, to have image anymore. Or let's say I don't want to show this uh, style of showing this uh, transparency here. I can go to the this element, edit, and I can say go to the column background. I don't want to show the background anymore. I don't want to show it. Update. I just want to show white. And it has to be uh, maybe full, the layout. And click Save. We saved the element. So let's click Preview. So it will be displayed like this. Now let's go to this page. And all we have to do is to refresh the page. Let's refresh this page. And again, this page. So now this is a reusable, uh, reusable design element uh, using SharePoint. And then you can design, you can design many, um, can have many elements and many components here using uh, uh, reuse them. Another use case is we can talk about is, for example, I want to have a, a quick links in the environment. So let me give you an example. I will take it from uh, demos.shortpoint.com. We want to have an, um, an, um, a design element that, showing, that shows, uh, yeah, this is good, this is good. Let's go to the gather example. This shortcuts, this section here, shortcuts, which has uh, quick, quick links. I want this area in general to be a reusable component, a reusable design element, so I can reuse it in the environment wherever I want. And at any time we want to add another shortcut, we can add it in SharePoint Generator. We don't have to go to every page. So let me go and show you the example. So I will go here to copy. For the demo, I'm just going to take some examples from demos.shortpoint.com. Let's click 
let's click edit and let's go here and also edit this part and uh, i'm going uh, to paste what i have copied from short point uh, from demos.shortpoint.com and the area i'm interested in is this one the shortcuts so i'm going to do the same i'm going uh, to copy yeah this is the area so you see if i go to the tiles click preview so these are the shortcuts and i want to design it the same way shortcuts and organize so let me take these tiles copy and I will go to the generator. I want to call this one uh, shortcuts. And I'm going to say uh, shortcuts, something like this. And then I'm going to paste uh, tiles. And maybe this one, I will make it, um, let's change it to heading one. So these are the shortcuts and I can copy it also, save changes. So now we have shortcuts here. Maybe it's nice also to add the same uh, little text. So let me go and click edit and I go under the shortcuts, I click paste, so here. Maybe this one uh, we, I'm going to make it headings so that it will take uh, the branding, colors and settings. So here, shortcuts. So here we have our shortcuts. So now I can go to communication site, to this, to the classic page. And um, under short point generator, so let's click uh, add space uh, after. So, I can from here click insert and go to custom and here we go. This is shortcuts review. We can insert it to the page and we will have shortcuts. Here. I can go to this demo page. I can go and add it under between the welcome. Here I can add it here and click another space click insert custom so here's the shortcuts click on insert save the page so here we have the shortcuts here from this example so now if i want to add uh, another shortcut i want to change let's say the support uh, site has been changed this one the git support the, so we, we are using another support site now so the link has been changed so i don't have to go to every single page where we have the icon about the support and change the link i will go to short point generator and update uh, update the link uh, the link there now um, another use of short point generator is uh, is look at this is uh, i'm going to give you the panel example you see from here, this page, it has uh, one, two, three, three content areas. And each content area, this one has uh, these kind of links, this one has quick tools, this one job status. What I'm interested in here is the box style. Get started. It has an icon, it has uh, underline, quick tools, job status. So if you're also, in, if you use short point, then you will know that this is called panel. Panels in short point is the way to design the box. And inside the box, you can add the content. It will give a consistency in your page and separation for the content. It's nice separation. Now let me show you here when I click edit. And I can see from this part, if I go to edit this, uh, this web part, I can see here that this section, let's click preview. This is the section that has the, the, the panels and the panels appear in blue color. So you see panel one on the left and you have two panels here, the job status and quick links. Now let's see the panel inside the panel, it has content. So if I go and click space before, I can add anything inside the panel. I can add another short point design elements, I can add whatever I want inside the panel. 
But what I can see, I designed the panel. So if I go to the panel settings, I can see that a lot of section, because I'm a designer, I designed how I want the panel to look. The style is transparent. The color is the primary, which is the brand color. And it has a title. It has an icon. And also it has other elements, says maybe in the advanced text size, text color. So I'm sure you can see now the problem we will have. So we are creating the style for the panel and we are redoing the style of the panel everywhere. So we're going here and we go to the panel on the right and we can see the panel on the right has also the same style, color, and then it has in the advance, it has also all of this, uh, all of these specifications and design, text size and text color. So we are doing the exact same thing in the same page three times. Imagine if we have multiple sites and we have many pages. So we have to redo the same design again and again and again. Yes, we can do copy paste. We can copy the panel and paste it here and add, add things in it. But it's something is wrong here because the same settings appear on, in, on many locations. So I'm going to use it as a, I'm going to use it in the generator as well. I'm going to create a design element used for styling in short point generator. So I'm going to copy this panel from here. I'm going to the generator page and I'm going to paste here. So this is the panel. I'm going to remove the content from inside the panel. I'm going to go to the settings of the panel. I'm going to keep the same, the style, the transparent color, but the panel title gets started. No, I don't want to have the panel title. I don't want to add the title of the panel here. I want to let the users change the panel title only in the sites and pages. So I'm going to design here a variable, percentage, percentage, and I can call it uh, books underscore title. And I'm going to close it. I am going to keep the icon. Even for the icon, you can also add it as a variable. So you can do here percentage, percentage, and then you can call icon underscore name. But for now, I don't want to design the icon as a, a variable. I'm going to keep it as a, as a mark like this. I'm going to keep uh, the link text, link type, view more it can be also I can do it. I'm going to advance, I will keep everything the same. So let's click preview. So here, this is my, the title of the panel and this is how it looks. Now, uh, let me go and click update. Now here is the thing, the panel has content. So it's the box. So yes, I want the content of the panel, as you can see from, uh, from this example, I want the panel to still have a content where I can add text, I can add other short point elements, I can add in classic pages, I can add SharePoint web parts and other elements. So this area here, it's different than making the title. Uh, variable. This area, I want to make content. I want to make it as a content. The entire content, it should be variable. So I want to tell short point generator, the content, I don't want to add the content here. I want to add the content also on the page. So there is a special uh, variable, it's called content. So you make percentage, percentage and content and you close it. So it's actually the name of it should be exactly the same. It should be percentage, percentage, and content, and a description for it below. So now we call this one panel, uh, or let's say books underscore style. And for our company, let's call it books style one. And let's click save. Now look what will happen. So this is the panel, and if I go 
books style one. If I go click preview, so it's just a panel and has content. Let me show you when you add it to the page, what will happen. So I'm going to demo page one and I'm going to refresh the page. And let's click edit. And I am going to click on edit here. And I'm going to add uh, a section. And inside the section, this row, I want to make it uh, three rows, three columns. Inside the first one, insert, custom, and I go to the box style one. Look what it asked me. So we're asking for the box title. This one, we can call it shortcuts. Shortcuts. Seek the content. Now it appears as a full editable area, full rich text area. I don't want to add here. I want to add it inside. So look, box style. It's different than the other element we designed. It has a content area. Box style one here. I can also call it this one uh, uh, documents. Insert. I can go here and I add uh, the same style, box style. I can call this one uh, my events. Insert. I can add anything here. So I can add this one. I can go add uh, some, uh, some tiles here. Let me maybe take a quick example. So let's go to the shortcuts. Let me take these tiles. I'm a big fan of copy paste, so I don't like to. I'm going to add the tiles here. And maybe the same, I can add another text here. So let's click Save. And as we can see here, we have now consistency in the design. We have this panel inside of the text, it has shortcuts, my events. I can go to demo page two, where I have a lot of panels here, right? So I can uh, just replace, let's add, uh, add space before. I can replace, so let's go and add our element, custom. Let's go here. I'm sure you got the idea, guys. So we can also use the short point generator to create uh, reusable design templates and I show you the power of the content element so the content value that makes the content of the generated short point also as a variable so you can add another uh, additional functionalities and additional uh, design elements to it so this is a, a functionality that works like this way so I can replace all of the design elements here with the panel design elements. I can replace them all. Let's add space before. I can insert from here, custom, box style, and I can call this one uh, shortcuts, insert. So this is an element and I add the tiles in it here. And remove this. Same thing, I can replace the panel, I can replace the other panel with the same uh, with the same style. The beauty of this, if I design, if we change, we want to change the style of the site. I don't want uh, the panels to look like this. Changing the panel styles, it, it adds a significant change to the site look and feel. So I can go now and say, uh, let's go to the box style and change it from transparent style to let's say solid header, solid header style. So it will be solid. And the text, I wanna go to the text because we changed the text color to black. Let's change it to white. So it's white, update. And let's click save. So if I go now to this page and click refresh, it's a significant change. Uh, it's not the same height. I can control this. I can control going to the to the generator, go to the box style, click edit, and from one location to the panel, 
I can go add a custom height for it. Let's say 400 pixels. 400 pixels is too much. Let's do it to 300 pixels. Update. Save. Page refresh. So we have a consistency in the design to add a significant change on the environment. Now, um, the last demo on the generator, which is, uh, I would say it will open the whole world now for, uh, for you to explore after this demo, is a combination between using SharePoint generator to create a reusable template and connect connect to external sources. For example, I have uh, this here. It's a SharePoint list that has uh, products. So this is the product, code, and product line. So it has, a, it has a color, product type, and other things. So what I wanna do, I want to present uh, this design, this, this content here, I can present it using short point. Um, we have a lot of design elements here, so I can present it in an image list or in an icon list or uh, what, whatever. But what I want to do, I want to design my own template. So the template is I want to have a box. Inside the box, it will have a title and it should have a button and it should have an alert box. So it will be a combination of multiple design elements. So I can design it the way I want. And then I wanna use that as a template when I connect to a SharePoint list or any other resource. So I wanna go start by designing my template. So my template is going to be like this. So I'm going to click on insert. And for this example, I'm, on, I'm going to go and um, add section here. And the section should be standard section. And I'm going to click uh, standard section and the height of it should be in pixels, let's say uh, 100 pixels. And the background of the section, I want it to be uh, primary. Let's say I want to make a dark background. So this is uh, how I want it to be. And they click on uh, back. So this is the element here. And then I'm going to click insert. And then what I want to do, I want the section to have a content. So this, this side here, where is it? Here. It has a product list. So it has a product title, code, and name. So here I want to add the product title. So product title will go here. And under the product title, I want to show the code name. So the code name goes here and maybe product line. So space, space like this and product line. I'm designing my template first. And then what I wanna do, I want also to add a button, insert button. And the button here is called uh, uh, read more or uh, open product. And the color for it white. And the text color, let's call the text color black. Let's have it black like this. Let's click preview. So that's the product. It appears like this, open product, insert. So let's make uh, the product change the size to big size like this. We change the color to white. And maybe this one. Also, we change the color to white. Let's see how it looks. Review. So here, product line, product name, and open product. So it's like a card I'm, uh, I'm uh, designing using uh, using short point. I can do other things uh, to this one, but I can design a full template using uh, this element. But I used section, I used uh, the button, and I used the title. Now let's change this to be a variable. So we make this one, percentage, percentage, underscore, 
and then we make it as a title. So the product title now is a variable. Code name also, I want to make it as a variable. So here, percentage, percentage, ah, sorry. Percentage, percentage. So here, the code name, and also the product line, I can make it also as a variable. Now, open products, I want when the user click on the product to open the additional details about the product. So I'm going to copy the link. So the link is copied. I'm going to go to here, open product. And I want to make a link. I want to paste it here. And the change in the link, the ID of the link, I want to make it as a variable. So ID equal, I'm going to change it. Percentage, percentage, product underscore ID. This is very advanced example, but once you got the idea what I'm working on here, and spend some time after my demo trying it out, it will open a, a whole world of possibilities using SharePoint. So the ID, I want to make it as a variable. And I want the linking options to open in a Lightbox. Preview. Here we go. Update. Save. Ah, I uh, forgot the name. So this one, I will call it product underscore card. This is the element, product card. The product card here, this is how it looks. Now let me show you how we can, let's have fun here. Let's click edit. Uh, again, let me just uh, refresh the page. Remember what we have done. We, in the short point generator, we designed the template. We didn't add any content there. So I'm going to do the, exactly the same thing. I'm going to edit this page. And I am going to add that to go under here. And I'm going to click insert. Custom product card. So it has the title. So if I go title here, code name, product, I don't know, click preview. So it will show me the style, but this is not what I want. What I want to do now is to go to connect. Yes, it supports connect. You can make this element dynamic. I want to go to connection type. The site is other sites. The site that has product list, it's in the sales and marketing site. So I'm going to select current site collection. No, it's another site collection. Sales and marketing to load all the sites there, sales and marketing. And from the list here, I'm going to click product list. All items if you, and then click connect. So we connected to that list. If I go to it, we are connected to the same product list. So I'm going to go now to settings and look product title. I want to make it the title of the product. Code name code name, product line, product line, product ID, ID, preview. So now it's going to do here, it's going to take all the products from that list and it will show it to us like this. I know that the style is big and that, uh, that list has a lot of items. So let's go click back and we go to connect. And let's click this connect a little bit and we just show, we want to show like just 10, let's say five items. So if you just show me now the five items. Of course, you can go to the view now in the list and control how it will appear, but this is the elements. Now let me show you how the open product works. So let's click on insert here, product card. And let's click uh, republish. Yes. So here we are showing the products. 
and this is a dynamic this is also dynamic this is also dynamic and when we click on the button it will open the product description or the product uh, in a lightbox so you can edit and you can customize and then you can see the additional properties and values for each product but this is a way to use short point generator to create templates you can also use this to create uh, cards to show news uh, you can like the possibilities are endless here you can literally design a full template a full page and make the whole page dynamic uh, based on a SharePoint uh, SharePoint content to present like it will have a slideshow, have buttons, have ties, have panels, it will have so many things to show the elements uh, uh, like this. Now, the same concept here, we are done with the short point uh, generator, uh, with the main functionalities in short point generator. Now, ending in this part, I'm going to show you short point template. So short point template here, it's the same concept. I have a product list, I have another list here, it's called um, uh, retail accounts. So retail accounts has a store name, account manager, sales target, something like that. So let me show you how can I, uh, I can uh, present the data from the retail account in any design element. But what I wanna show you here, I wanna show you what can we do with short point uh, templates design element. So let me add uh, just the spaces here and let's go click insert. So when go and you select template. So templates, it's not useful at all if you are not connected to a design element, to, to, if you are not connected to an, a source of data. So let's go click connect and let's click other sites and let's go to the retail. It's a site called retail site. So let's go click uh, other site collections. It doesn't appear here. So let's add it by uh, site by URL. So let's add the site URL. So let's see how this, this work. Retail site, fetch, beautiful. So sometimes we can't find the site uh, in the list, so we can just copy and paste and get the site by URL. So here we go, the retail site is, uh, we retrieved it. And uh, let's select the retail, uh, what's the list we call it? It's the retail accounts. So let's go the retail accounts. And all items, so let's click connect. So we connected to retail accounts to all items. So what I'm going to present, I want to just present a table view for this, uh, uh, for this list, uh, but with a rich text format. So I can go, after I connect it to this element, I go now to items and I can see one big rich text area. So I can add the mapping and I can say account manager. And then I can design it the way I want. Account manager is responsible for, is the manager uh, for storing. Store, I can make this one, I can make it, uh, maybe use it like uh, heading one. Is the manager, for store one, I can make uh, the name for this one bold um, and account manager and the sales target is sales target is we can put sales target. So this one, we can make this one the color of it, uh, let's say blue. And then I can go under it. I can uh, just add a divider like this, preview. So here. So this one, this uh, template, it's another way to 
play with uh, dynamic content to present it in uh, whatever template uh, you guys want in the rich text format. You can also add uh, images. This one, you can add images. And the image itself also from here, you can also use uh, the content. So for example, if it has uh, uh, the URL of the image, so you can add the URL of the image, you can copy this. And when you insert the image, you can add the URL here. So the URL of the image will be also dynamic. So you can add it uh, from here. And that's the template uh, design uh, design element. And with that, I am uh, done uh, with my uh, demo about short point generator and templates, uh, short point design element. And now I am ready to uh, hear your uh, questions. And uh, thank you very much.